new video released by the Taliban claims to show the handover of US Army Sergeant Bo Bagdal on Saturday. These are the first pictures of Bagdal that we have seen since his release. At one point, Bagdal is seen sitting in the back of a white pickup truck surrounded by armed men and a number of other Taliban fighters on a nearby hill. A US Army Black Hawk helicopter lands and Bagdal is led to the chopper. CNN has not been able to verify the authenticity of this video. It runs 17 minutes long. Let's get more on this now. Let's get a senior international correspondent, Matthew Chance. He's at Landstuhl in Germany. He joins us on the phone. So, so Matthew, as we take a look at these images of Bergdahl, the first time we've actually seen him since this uh, prisoner swap was concluded and he was released by the Taliban, handed over to the United States, is there anything that can be gained by looking at Bergdahl to look at his condition, to know more about him? Well, it, it's difficult to say. Certainly it's the first glimpse that we've had of Bergal since he was uh, handed over to the U.S. authorities on, on Saturday, the 30th of May. Uh, Department of Defense officials in the U.S. say that this handover uh, took place at about 10.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time uh, in eastern Afghanistan near the Pakistan border. In fact, the Taliban has confirmed that, uh, that this took place in Khost province in eastern, uh, eastern Afghanistan. Uh, the DOD also said that uh, at least 18 armed Taliban fighters uh, were present uh, during this handover. And indeed, uh, the video also shows um, a, a number of Taliban uh, armed Afghan militants uh, in the frame as well. And so, you know, it, it corroborates that side of the story. In terms of his, his health and his welfare, I mean, he looks pretty gaunt. Um, and I think we have to go with what the medical officials here at the Landstuhl Regional Medical Facility in southern Germany are saying about that, which is that he's got certain medical needs, uh, he's in a stable condition, but after five years of being, nearly five years of being in captivity, he has certain medical needs which required hospitalization. Uh, part of his treatment, as you understand, uh, is uh, to do with his dietary and nutritional needs. He's somewhat uh, malnourished, it seems. Uh, during his nearly five years in captivity uh, with Afghan militants. And so you know, that's the real focus of the, the medical effort at the moment, along with his psychological state. Of course, there's a great deal of focus being put on um, Sergeant Bergal's um, reintegration now into society to his eventual homecoming job. Matthew, it's interesting. We've been looking at the video as you've been talking and describing uh, Bergdahl's condition and what he's about to go through. And you can see a member of the Taliban there apparently holding what looks to be like a, a, a white flag. It does seem for all intents and purposes like an old-fashioned prisoner exchange that you know, would have happened in any conflict. Uh, they bring the prisoner out. He's then taken on a helicopter, which is what we're looking at right now. We haven't been able to confirm that this is in fact authentic, but it does certainly appear to be the case. What has happened here, though, Matthew, is that the Taliban has emailed this video, these images out, to a number of news organisations. And I'm just curious, what do they hope to achieve by doing that? Well, I think from a, from a Taliban PR point of view, this, is, this has been a major coup. I mean, they've secured the release of, of five of their most high-profile captives from the American uh, prison in Guantanamo Bay. And so they're... They're somewhat you know, seeing this as a, a public relations victory for them. Um, and I think that's why they've been so upfront in, in putting out this, this, this exchange to see that, you know, this was a deal that was done with the United States. Uh, now, in terms of what's happening to Bo Burgold from, from here on in, uh, one of the things that, that, that's going to be, um, you know, addressed during his period, perhaps here at the Landstuhl Medical Facility, is what the circumstances were of his capture. Now, it's already been established. Um, by American defense officials, that he apparently left his station uh, in, uh, in Afghanistan uh, back in 2009 deliberately and of his own accord. What we don't know yet are the circumstances in which he fell into the hands of his Afghan militants and the Taliban. And so one of the things investigators are going to be doing now is talking to Bo Bergal and seeing what his side of the story was so they can establish whether he deserted his post what his side of the story is, what action, if any, that should be taken against him.